G'day guys, Manny Extreme Auto carrying and camping with you again today on another massive off-grid setup. This one on a Jayco Silverline, brand spanking new this one is. As you can see, this is the underbed area. So originally, this came out with just a single 120 amp hour lithium battery from factory and just a single panel on the roof, which is okay for the system in place for minor 12 volt stuff. Now this has a compressor fridge. So the free camping side of things on this would be very, very minimal um, time frame. Um, well, that's no longer the case. As you can see here, we have put in a monster system. There is 660 amp hours here. That is, that's over eight kilowatt hours, if you were to work it out that way, of custom made power pool lithium batteries from good old Melbourne, Australia handmade custom-made batteries these have a continual discharge of 250 per battery so that means one battery has the ability to support the full load of this inverter very happy to be able to do that with this uh with this battery system very cool so as you can see we've gone for all the victron fruit on this one on here we've gone for the 30 that's now programmed up the 5100 that's now programmed up the orion 30 that's programmed up as well as the little 2100 that's programmed up here so these here have the ability to fast charge this system. So we've got 1120 watts on the roof here. We've gone for four 200 watt panels. We've also gone for two 160s. That's all taken care of by the smart um, solar controllers down here. The Orion DC to DC charge is taking care of vehicle charge from the Anderson plug. So that's gonna charge at a rate of about 30 amps per hour. So he's got a, he's got an Isuzu in order. And as you guys are aware, the Isuzu's don't have the best alternators. So that'll take care of that perfectly. We've gone for the Victron 12 3000 120 amp multi plus inverter charger here running on all of the factory CMS outlets. That includes the microwave, the air conditioner, uh, the GPOs by the bed, outside. Pretty much everywhere there's a factory outlet, now will run, uh, the inverter will run them. Very cool to have. So if you're induction cooking outside, if you're induction cooking inside, you want to run the washing machine, you know, the hairdryer, toaster, kettle, the works. Go nuts. If you've got an item that you run at home, this setup allows you to run off-grid. No generators, guys. No generators. This is a completely self-sufficient system. So great for families, great for couples that want to be on the road permanently, um, families that are on the road permanently. Either way, you can pull over on the side of the road and the touch of a little button, you'll have mains power on here to zap your food for a quick meal. Uh, you know, induction cook. If it's blowing a gale outside, get your induction cooker out. You know, gas is horrible outside. The flame just disappears when there's wind. Uh, induction cooking, there's no energy loss, so why not do it? Plus, they're portable and easy. And you can run it out an extension cord really far away from the van if you want to. Very cool to be able to do that with the system. So, factory overlay. What does that mean? So, we always get hit up with questions and emails and responses. What do you mean by factory overlay? Well, factory overlay means there is no impact to the original system. All right, this is a factory overlay, which means the projector power management, which controls all of the lighting, the pumps, everything. That is factory in Jayco remains. The factory screen is still in situ. You still control all of your 12 volt devices as you would in any situation with any brand new Jayco. You reach up, touch your master 12 volt, bang, everything comes on. That is still in situ as you can see here. What changes is the charging sources. No longer, is solar fed through this. So that was the original roof array, gone. No longer is the trailer plug charging through this. That's gone. So the, the vehicle charging is no longer taken care of by this, gone. Mains charging, no longer taken care of by this. Essentially, this is stripped back to a basic 12 volt distribution board, which is what it is now, which is all the fuses are in situ there. So this here is powered up not only by a monster lithium battery bank now, but the the original power only came from a little 120 amp hour lithium battery. Well, because it's coming from this, there's a lot of energy in this guy. So with 660 amp hours into it now, it, it's at 12 volt, these guys can keep their compressor fridge on, even in overcast crappy conditions like it is now in Adelaide, rain and horrible. Um, it is what it is. Keep the fridge on. I mean, why not? Like it's this fridge, this RUX will probably pull about 50, 50 a day from this, so 50 amps a day, if you were to work it out as an average. 
Yeah, might use a little more in summer when the ambient temperature's up, but work out in 50. So you can do the math. You got 660, 50, but more importantly is the replenishment. This solar setup, guys, this solar setup, even in overcast, I'm pumping in 400 to 500 watts in overcast conditions. That is more than enough, well beyond the means of more than enough, to keep up with this Dometic AUX fridge. So any compressor fridge, even if these guys added another uh, angle in one of their boots or somewhere and set it as a deep freezer, this system would just run indefinitely. It's amazing. The only time it wouldn't, obviously, if you parked in the shade, it's obvious you're not going to have the sun on the panels. So that's how that works. Now, as you can see with all the Victron fruit, we've put a side mounted Anderson plug on this, which is taken care of by the smaller Victron smart solar controller. All of these solar controllers are networked together in unison. And what that means is we get a we get a uniform charge over all three charge controllers. So if he's got a fold out out there and there's, there's a shade on this side of the, the roof, the system is going to look at the battery voltage and current and then decide how to charge. So it is, it's constantly monitoring what is happening at this point here, quite literally on these, on this little wire here, all right? It's very accurate, very cool, and Victron are one of the only products that um, allows you to do that, uh, networking the solar controllers together. Really cool, you, you can do them like three or four or five or six. Even if it isn't tied into the servo with data cables, you can still create your own little mini network here, and it, it's all done over Bluetooth. So it's all, all in this area, so there's no sort of range issues there. Um, as you can see, guys, all of the charging devices, mains, solar, and DC to DC, are within this much distance of the battery and on very thick gauge cable. The reason you do that is because if the charges are close to the battery, they're going to be very accurate at charging and getting, getting that current through. There's actually no losses over the, the cable to the battery. It is very efficient, and, and that's what you aim to do. You see a lot of vans where they have the charger up in the cupboard and then the batteries are at a great distance away. Um, it's never accurate. It's very, very inaccurate. So that's the system, guys. 1120 watts of solar, 660 amp hours of lithium here. That's over eight kilowatt hours of storage. Victron Multi 12 3120 inverter charger running on all of the factory Jayco CMS outlets. We've got a 130 here for the roof solar for the two 160s. We've got a 150 here for the four 200s on the roof. We've got the Orion Smart DC to DC charger for vehicle charging. And we've gone for a little 100 slash 20 for a side mounted Anderson plug. Should old mate want to plug a portable panel in, he's able to do that. Also the Servo Touch 50 um, and the Servo GX, sorry, and Touch 50 display is around the corner there in really close proximity to the original screen. And old mate has chosen to put it there as opposed to another spot over here. Every van's different. But there it is guys, so, Enjoy that setup.